In South Korea, there is a popular urban legend called fan death, where if you sleep with the fan blowing on your face, you'll die. Um, now, the fact that this doesn't happen in any country in the world outside of Korea isn't enough to convince them that it's just an urban legend. The Korean government has actually made an official statement on the matter recommending people don't do this. Uh, and if you look at a Korean fan, you'll notice that it has a timer on it. So, zero hours, which I guess is infinity. Uh, three shigan, or three hours, two hours, one hour. Well, I like to live dangerously, so I have it set to infinity. I'm turning the fan on. Here's the bed where I'll be sleeping. So, I'm going to be very, very suspenseful and tell you you have to wait to the end of the video to see how this turns out. And hopefully the fact that this thing managed to get edited and posted so I must have survived won't occur to you. Anyway, good night. See you in the morning. Good morning. So, the fan is still on, and I'm still alive. The two reasons why they think this affects Koreans and only Koreans, one reason is that Korean fans are different than other fans, but since the Korean fan didn't kill me, you know that's not true. The other reason is that Korean physiology is different, so only Koreans will be killed by Korean fans. Um, so I'm going to test that theory right now. So here's the fan. Here's the Korean. Have a good night. Bye, Kyle. And have a good night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, see you in the morning. Uh, good luck. Okay. Good night. Good morning. Are you are you alive? Okay. You are? Yeah. Okay. I haven't been a victim of fan death yet. Um, I've looked up two of the main reasons that they think might cause fan death. One is that it prevents oxygen from getting to you somehow. I don't know, maybe they think the fan blades actually chop up the molecules or something crazy like that. The other one is cold. So I'm going to, you know, be all experimenty and scientific like with this. So I'm gonna seal up my windows. I think that was another part of the thing. I mean look look up fan death on Wikipedia. You'll see that it's doing this with your window closed that they think makes it dangerous. So I'm going to use this aluminum tape to seal up my windows. Next thing I'm going to do is, if they say coldness does this, I'm going to sleep completely naked with no blankets, so that would add to the cold. Uh, I'll actually down a bottle of soju, so I will lose body heat faster to make this even more effective. And rather than one fan, I'll use two, because one's deadly. Two should be double deadly. If I actually finish this video and post it and survive, I think we'll be able to lay the fan death rumor to rest. Either that or I'll be laid to rest, but I hope that doesn't happen. Okay, the window's sealed. I won't be getting any fresh air tonight. Here's my bed. Goodbye blankets. Hello fan number one. Hello fan number two. Alcohol helps to push any heat to your extremities. So it will accelerate the rate that I cool down when I'm naked with the two fans on me. 
soju, the Korean beverage of choice. If you're trying to dismiss a Korean urban legend, you have to use Korean alcohol. sealed, two pans, naked to make me cold, alcohol to make me colder. All right, let's lay the fan death legend to rest, shall we? Ah, ah. Always undo your buttons before you get naked. And one, then two. Okay, the light goes off. Okay, so Two fans, a sealed window, no blankets, soju in the bloodstream. None of those things are enough. So, fan death, not true.